that we were like, whoa, we and would never say, say that it. joke. Right. Yeah. Is there a, just a joke that you won't do or is there anything that is off limits to you guys? Oh, a lot of things. Yeah, we don't want to be mean. We don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Like, I, yeah, I'd say there's a lot of like kind of rules, but we don't stray towards that anyway naturally in our lives unless they're talking about my speech impediment, in which case they're <laughs> vicious. So yeah, there's a lot of jokes we won't do, but it's not hard not to do them. Yeah. Yeah, we tell the line, we take it as they come. It's like on a, a joke by joke basis, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I know you kind of talked about this, but any joke regrets? Mm. Uh, that made it through onto air? Yeah. At this point, it's so hard to go back and think back. Hmm. I'm sure if we went back to like seasons one, to mm -hmm. there probably are things that like because our style has changed the show has changed and the world has changed mm -hmm. that maybe would be considered a little more ri risky than they uh they be considered more risky today than they were back then right like because of the landscape of things yeah well, yeah but i thought we always did yeah it was never really we always tried to like toe that line before yeah. that line was even there right right we tried to set it yeah and then break it and set it you know and keep people guessing but the nature of the show is doing things that we probably wouldn't want to do so that's built in kind of inherently sometimes yeah. right but, uh, something, nothing jumps out to me like oh my god if i had a time yeah. machine no it was funny when we had eric andre on and he just started powerhousing you with black jokes that we were like yeah we could never say Race stuff that we couldn't do but yeah. it's coming he, from him he said he goes i haven't been this drunk since last black history month and we were like whoa and we would never say, say that it. joke right yeah, yeah it was crazy yeah. i mean you know you mentioned obviously the landscape of the world is different from you know when you were for season one is that hard for you when you are kind of coming up with these jokes and you know no, kind I, of I, I, I think that's what makes our show continue to be good and great yeah. and that's that's on us to to constantly evolve the show the show uh like and totally unplanned in eric andre's episode there's a uh joke about will smith eating the product yeah right? and it coincided with the week of will smith exploding in the news right but i think the show can react to trends and, and uh cultural trends very, very quickly. Yeah. And that's that's on us to keep it evolving and staying current. Are you bringing Will Smith with this drama into the final episode of, uh, of season no. nine? No, yeah. we don't want any part of that drama. <laughs> Not touching that. Um, I know, you know, this, like you said, this season is all about- with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> Exactly. Um, I know you said this season obviously has a lot of celebrity guests and things like that, but is there the biggest celebrity fan that surprised you that like, you know, that is a big fan of the show that you were like, oh my God, I can't believe they watch. Paul McCartney. That's a big one. Yeah, we, we heard he, he, we, he talked to our manager. We heard he watched the show and then our manager talked to him at some charity dinner and he actually had like in-depth thoughts about the show and us. It was like, I mean, that's crazy. That's the craziest thing in the world to hear. And of course, you know, Paul McCartney from Wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time. I'll let you go back to filming your final episode. Can't wait for season nine and enjoy your much needed time off. Thanks thank so, you much. So, so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.